welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have my April favorites. Um, so there's a ton of beauty in this because I had an Ulta haul previously this, I think it was earlier this month. It feels like forever ago. Um, but I'll leave that corner up that corner, that video up in the corner and down below um, in case you're curious about it. So I have a bunch of beauty favorites. I have a couple kind of like fashion favorites. I have a food favorite, a restaurant favorite. Um, I have a show, so all sorts of good stuff. So let's just hop right in. I'm gonna start with my beauty stuff. Um, so the first thing that I've been loving this month is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Condi Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So I talked about this recently in a mini reviews video where I talked about things I hadn't really talked about on my channel yet. I'll leave that video up in the corner and down below. And I've talked about this and I just love this stuff. So I have used this, their mask from this line for a long time. First of all, it smells like vanilla cupcake batter. It smells so, so good. Um, and second of all, I just, this is kind of like my perfect leave-in conditioner because it's super moisturizing and it feels like it's really giving my hair the extra moisture protection that it needs without being too heavy and feeling like it's making my roots greasy automatically. So it's really nice and like lightweight, but moisturizing. You can see it kind of like really easily tips around in there. Um, because it's so like, I don't want to say liquidy, but it's so, it's just so lightweight. It feels so good on my hair. Um, so how I like to use this is in the shower. If I'm doing my hair curly, I'll flip my hair over, get it soaking, soaking wet, put this in first and then my oil and then my cream or my like curl custard stuff. And it works so well. My hair always feels so hydrated after I use this and I just love it. It's also great for restoring my curls. So I'll take a little bit of this and a little bit of my curl custard with some water and just scratch it into my dry hair when my hair needs to be restored. And it just works so well. I actually did it yesterday and these are like three third day curls and they still look gorgeous and beautiful because they have enough moisture and stuff in them and enough hold from everything else that they just work so well. So I love this stuff. It has organic shea butter in it for uh, deeply moisturizing while conditioning hair and scalp. Jamaican black castor oil, obviously. It says it's loaded with imperative omegas that promotes healthy hair growth and peppermint that stimulates the scalp for an invigorating experience. So it has all sorts of great things in it. It's also fair trade ingredients, cruelty-free, family owned and operated, ethical trade. It has no sulfates, parabens, phthalates, propylene glycol, mineral oil, and it's not animal tested, and there's no petroleum. So I just love Shea Moisture products. They're a great price point, and this just is one of my new favorites from their line. It works so well. All right, and then I actually have a bunch of new beauty favorites, like makeup favorites from that Ulta haul. I found a lot of stuff I like. Um, if there's stuff in the haul I'm not mentioning, it's not because I don't like it. I loved everything from the haul, but these are just the like few things that stuck out. I think I have five things. These are just what like really stuck out to me and I've been using a lot. So the first thing is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer, Broad Spectrum 25. So, um, the only thing I will say about this is that it is a chemical and mineral sunscreen. It's a combination. So if you're staying away from chemical sunscreens, I would stay away from this one, but it works really, really well. It's beautiful on the skin. I think I have a clip of me actually putting it on my skin one day. So I'll pop that in here. I'm not wearing it today because it's a little bit too light for me <laughs> right now. It's going to work great for like when I'm not as tan and stuff um, or to be mixed in with something else. But I just love this. It works so well on the skin. It's beautiful. It's a nice kind of like light medium coverage, but it blends in really easily. Um, I do find that I can't blend this in with my fingers. I do need like a sponge or something to blend this in. Um, so it's not quite as like lightweight as a tinted moisturizer like my CeraVe or a BB cream that I could use my fingers to blend in. I do need a sponge for this, but it just looks so pretty on the skin. It works really, really well. It gives me a beautiful glow, and I just really and love it, love it. It says it's infused with a primer, so it lasts all day. It primes, moisturizes, perfects, and protects all in one step. I don't know about any of that. I still like to use a primer. It's just a personal preference. I just like using primers. Yeah, I just really love this. It's beautiful if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer with maybe a little bit more coverage than your normal BB cream. This is a really good one. 
All right, next up on the list is this Ofra highlight. So I was nervous when I picked this shade up. I got the shade Rodeo Drive because online it looks pretty deep. And even in the pan, it looks a little bit too deep for my skin tone. Like it's going to be really like obvious on my skin but i'm wearing it today and i think it just gives you a beautiful healthy glow like a really nice warm summer glow which is what i like i like to be looked like i've been out in the sun and got a beautiful glow but i didn't actually have to go out in the sun for it so i love this stuff it's beautiful over high right highlighters are a cult classic for a reason and i have quickly fallen in love with this highlighter i've used it so so much um, it is on the more expensive side, but highlighters will last you so long because you don't need a lot of it that I don't mind spending that much money on them because I know I'm going to have it for a long time. So um, this one's just gorgeous. It actually reminds me a lot of Champagne Pop, which Becca is closing its doors. So I'm glad I found something similar to Champagne Pop because I just love Champagne Pop so much. So this is really similar to that. If you've been looking for a good replacement, Rodeo Drive is a really good one. All right, next up is a cream blush that I have been loving, especially this shade. I don't know about anything else from this line. I've heard some good, some bad things, but this one in particular is awesome. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronzer Color in the shade Beach Babe. Um, This is gorgeous. I'll put a little swatch on my hand here for you. It's so creamy but it blends out so, so easily, but it still keeps its pigment. It's like my perfect like summer blush shade because it's kind of got that warm bronzy color in it. So it just gives you a really pretty like flushed look for spring and summer. I mean, I would use this all year round because I'm always looking, want to look bronze all year round, but it is so, so pretty and it lasts all day long. I don't notice it fading or anything on my skin. Um, I've used it both just like on my cream products or on top of powder even. I'll just put a little bit on my finger and tap it on top of powder products and it still works fine that way. I would still get like a coat of it down first before you powder your face and then if you need a little bit more, I think it's okay to put it on over powder. It doesn't like pill up or get weird or anything like that. It just looks so pretty and like I said, this shade is just gorgeous. I just like am obsessed with this beach babe shade. It's a perfect name for this because I really do feel like I've been at the beach all day. I've got this beautiful pink flush look to my face again without having to actually go in the sun to get it. So this is just so pretty. I've also used this on my lips. Let me put a little bit on my lips now. Um, and I just love this because it's like the same, almost the same color as my lips, maybe a little bit deeper. So it just gives them like a little bit of a flushed look. So it's just really pretty. I haven't tried this on my eyes yet as like an eyeshadow look, but I'm sure it'd be gorgeous that way too. And I just have been really loving using this. I've used it so, so much. I actually plan on traveling with it soon. So I just love this. It's so amazing. Okay, the next one I didn't really want to love because it's really expensive for what it is, but I just love it so much. And it's the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I got the shade at three in the sale and I'm glad I picked it up at the sale because this is an expensive brow gel, but it works so well. My brows just look amazing when I use it. I have pretty full brows as it is, but these ju this just makes it look even better. It holds my brows in place. It gives it a little bit of extra color as well as like a little bit extra volume. I've used this with a pencil on its own and just looks great no matter what. And like, I just think my brows look so good. They do need to be plucked, but if you ignore that issue, um, this just works so well. I can see why people love this stuff and why it's a cult favorite and why people spend the money they do to get it. And I probably will too, to be honest. It's just so, so good. The Make Me Brow from Essence is a really close dupe. I just don't think it's quite the same as this. There's something magical about the Gimme Brow. I don't know what it is, but there's just something magical about it. Um, so if you've been kind of on the fence about trying it, I would highly recommend it. I think it's so, so good. Like I said, I have this shade three. So, and that works perfectly for me. It's kind of like, just like slightly lighter than my brows, which I kind of like because it gives them like a little bit of dimension to the brows. So I think it works really well. So if you have a similar coloring to me, three is a good shade. All right, and the last thing is, well, the last beauty product 
is another thing I cannot put down. I put it in my purse. The label is already rubbing off because I just use this so, so much. And it's the Luxe Lip Oil by ColourPop. This is from their Romance Collection and it's the shade First Date. And it's kind of this beautiful peachy nude. It actually looks really pretty on top of um, the nude sticks. I'll put a little more on. But this stuff, first of all, just looks gorgeous on the lips. You know, it really makes them look like shiny and beautiful and a little bit plumper just because they're like it's so moisturizing so it looks really good on the lips it gives you a little bit of color but not too much but the thing i love about this is a it's not sticky at all because it's a lip oil and b it is so ho, ho, moisturizing my lips feel so soft after i use this it just works so well i like i said i've thrown this in my purse and reapplied it on the go it works great because it doesn't have a ton of color in it. I don't have to worry about like getting it all over the place. It just looks really, really pretty. It's really easy to apply. The applicator is like so soft, which I know sounds really weird, but like I like putting it on my lips because it feels so good on my lips. Um, and this first date color is just really pretty. I definitely want to get more shades of this because I have a feeling I'm going to use this all up. I just, I love it so much. It's been going literally everywhere with me and it will be coming on my trips as well. So if you're looking for like a really good lip oil, try the ColourPop ones. They are so good. And plus only like eight bucks. That's not bad at all. So really good. All right. So that's all of the makeup. Let me talk quickly about my fashion favorite and it's my earrings. So I've talked about these a couple times, I think, but these are from Amazon. So this is just one set that I have and I got a whole set of them. Like there are so many options, eight, nine. So it came with nine sets of hoops. They were all individually packaged, which was kind of annoying, but like they're so pretty to kind of see. Got some like chain link ones, some like chunky, like triple hoops, some other like pearl ones. These like rope looking ones. Some more like chain. A smaller like chunky hoop. Um, these ones are so fun. I love these ones. These ones are like bamboo looking. And they have one pair of like really delicate kind of just like plain gold hoops. And then the ones I'm wearing. But they were, I think these were like 15 bucks for this whole set and they are awesome. I love them. The only thing is they don't come with backs. They come with like little, um, they just come with like little plastic things on them. So I have a set of like backs, like extra backs. So, um, I just have been like putting my own earring backs on them, but I just think they're so fun and different and cute and they weren't that expensive. So I can like, you know, do what I want with them and it's not that big of a deal. And I just feel like they have a little bit of everything to go with like any occasion. I could definitely wear these with like, if I'm going like to a fancier event or like a wedding or something, but I can also wear them like I am today, just like with my everyday outfits. I just think they look so cute. Um, I've been looking for some like new good earrings because I have so many pair of things that like I just needed some new earrings to like spice up things so I'm glad I found these they're so so cute so if you're looking for some good like different fun like chunkier hoops this is a really good set and I highly recommend it so as long with along with everything else they'll be linked down below as well as the earring back set I have in case you want to like order some earring backs um it's a really good set as well so the next thing I want to talk about is a restaurant here in Colorado Springs that I loved it was so so good it's actually in old colorado city and it's called front range barbecue i'll pop a picture of me eating there with my husband and holy cow is it great so we went for restaurant week at pikes peak restaurant week which is over now but it was so so good he got i don't remember what he got i'll place it on the screen here as long with i think i got the john alex which was like their pulled pork sandwich which or their brisket sandwich which was amazing but the sandwich my husband got was actually on diners, drive-ins, and dives. And it was amazing. The sandwiches were so good. The barbecue was amazing. They had gluten-free buns, which is always a win in my book. And they were really, it was just such good barbecue. Like it, if you want like a good barbecue sandwich 
or like something a little bit like fancier with your barbecue, I would go there. It's not like, I don't know if it's a place I would go for like platters of barbecue. You know, if you're having like a big party or something, I, I don't know if I'd go there for that. But if you're looking for like good barbecue for like a date or something, like a lunch date or something, it's really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And then Matt and I each got a slice of their key lime pie. I love key lime pie. Like, love it. I make it every summer. So good. Their key lime pie was amazing. They had this, uh, they had fresh whipped cream on it, which I didn't eat because I don't eat dairy, um, which key lime pie has dairy in it, but okay. Anyway, um, and it has this vanilla sauce on it. Oh my God. This was, it was such a good key lime pie. Um, I highly recommend if you like key lime pie to go there and get this key lime pie. You can actually get a whole pie to go which could be worth it because it was some of the best key lime pie I've ever had besides making my own because I just like to make my own, but it was a really good key lime pie. So if you like barbecue and key lime pie, head there. They also had really good sweet tea, which I was surprised because we're in the middle of the country. You usually get only get really good sweet tea in the South, but they had really good sweet tea too. So yeah, if you're looking for a great lunch date, I would head to Front Range Barbecue. It was so, so good. And then my last favorite is a TV show, which might not come to surprise to like anyone out there because I think feel like everybody's watching the show and that's Falcon and the Winter Soldier. When I'm filming this, the series finale actually comes out tomorrow. So I am so excited to see how it ends. Um, if anyone else hates John Walker, leave it in the comments because he is just the worst. Just, but anyway. I have been loving the show. I love Sam and Bucky's like relationship. It's so funny to me. Zemo is hilarious. If you haven't watched any of it, I'm sorry. Spoilers, clearly. Not too many though, but um, I just can't wait to see how it all ends. I have a theory about Sharon, but we'll see how it all works out. I'm really excited to watch the uh, finale, but um, if you haven't watched it and you love Marvel, even if you don't love Marvel, this it's just such a good show. I mean, you have to kind of know Marvel to understand some of it, but it is just so good. They did such a good job with it. I'm sad it's only six episodes long, but um, oh, so good. So if you're looking for a good new show, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is where it's at. If you're not already watching, because I feel like everybody's watching that. Um, but yeah, that is all my favorites from April. It was a pretty good month. I'm ready to be done with it though because it keeps snowing here. Come on, Colorado. I know this is our second snowiest month, but I'm over it. I'm over the snow. Let's just stop that. Um, but hopefully you guys had a great April. Leave me a comment with some of your favorites from the month. Uh, just let me know what you've been loving. <coughs> I'd love to hear from you guys and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you at my next adventure. Bye.